What's up, everyone? Happy Saturday. Hope you uh, all enjoyed the win last night. I think it's one of my highest scoring um, lineups I've ever uh, created. And I also think this is the first and last time I'll ever be able to predict two home runs from Trout. <laughs> so we're going to try it again today. Pitching, I have three pitchers in mind. Now, Walker Bueller, I know he's pitching in Coors Field, but he's owned the Rockies over the last uh, year or so. However, um, there's one particular hitter that we cannot fit into the lineup so if we have Bueller. I'm thinking, like, a good game at Coors Field, if he gives up three runs in five innings and starts out six, he might get, like, 18 to 20 points. I mean, he may just throw a one hitter for all we know and get thirty five points. Um, so I'm, I think I'm gonna throw him into like one of my GPP lineups, but to be able to fit all the hitters we want in here, we're gonna have to hold our breath and go for Aaron Brooks. I don't think the Astros have been hitting as well as they should be. Um, Aaron Brooks was very mediocre in um, the minor leagues. He still had a strikeout per inning. Now, if Aaron Brooks gets us about 15 to 20 points, I'd be ecstatic. So I think we're just going to have to <laughs> cross our fingers on our pitching that our pitching holds up and doesn't get like a negative six on the day. And then, see, this is, I don't like any of these pitching options, so we might want to play light today. I think Dylan Bundy. Um, just because this Yankees lineup is banged up, a lot of their top hitters are out. No Stanton, of course, no Didi. Um, who, who am I missing? Uh, Andujar is gone. The only threat to him, I guess, is Gary Sanchez and Voigt and Garner, but he's like a single threat. Like, he just hits singles. Um, so I think if Dylan Bunny can get about 15 points... Like, the last time against the Yankees, only went three innings. Yeah, he's going to go five innings today. If he goes five innings with the stat line, what, that's like 18 points, give or take? He's at home. I know Bundy struggled, but there's been like one or two games even last year where he dominated the Yankees or the Red Sox, uh, if I'm not mistaken, just for one game. So this could be the game. And I think for hitting, you have to start... With Bellinger and Muncy. It's a small sample size, but Bellinger is six out of eight. And Muncy is three out of five with two home runs and five RBIs. These are the one these are the two hottest hitters in baseball right now. Bellinger's price is ridiculous at fifty eight hundred. I don't think a lot of people are gonna go here for Bellinger. Um like First base hasn't been particular, particularly that that deep and that strong. I was hoping Bellinger would get outfield. If Bellinger had outfield um, eligibility, I think he'd be high. Um, I know I just said that it's not as deep, but someone's going to find like a Rizzo for like 4,800 and save 1,000 and say, well, they can do the same thing. Um, obviously, he's that high because it's the course field effect, but uh, Muncie and Bellinger have just owned... Um, the Rockies. If we're going to go with Walker Bueller, um, our our third Dodger would be AJ Pollock. We could fit AJ Pollock in at like forty nine hundred. So let's go to um, our outfielders. Um, also, I think Corey Seager is like five out of thirteen for a three eighty five average against Gray. So if you could fit Corey Seager in, I would do so. Okay, our outfield. This is why I want to fit in Aaron Brooks instead of Walker Buehler. I know the Red Sox have been struggling as of late, but J.D. Martinez back in Arizona, and the only reason why I'm playing him is because Luke Weaver is on the other side. Now, as a Cardinals fan, as a diehard Cardinals fan, um, Luke Weaver had an excellent rookie year. Uh, even I thought, well, I'm skeptical on all like rookies and minor leaguers, and I thought 
he was the second coming of Granky. He really looked like Granky, pitching wise, well, and stature wise. Um, last year though, and start of this year, he just looks lost. Like I don't know what happened. If he got hurt and just didn't tell anyone, but he he looks like he's gonna be out of the league in like three years if he keeps this up. Like he went like he he's like looking like Granky, but now he's pitching like like the a newest version of like Shelby Miller. Awful. Um, so this is why I'm gonna try to fit JD Martinez into the lineup. And then my second outfielder um it's gonna be Ryan Braun. Where are you, Ryan Braun? At forty four hundred. I know Cool Hamels is good, but it's that that Miller Park effect. I don't know what I forget what Cool Hamels uh ERA at, at Miller Park has been last couple of years at well when he was with the Phillies, I guess. But in uh, the Cubs last year, um, but where are you, Ryan Braun? He is thirteen out of forty with a three twenty five average, three home runs, seven runs, and five RBIs. Only struck out five times in forty at bats. Ryan Braun is starting to come alive um, against lefties. I'll gladly put throw him in there. Um, now my third op- option is Jimmy. Is really cheap. I can't believe he's so cheap. He's only hitting 227 out of like 70 at bats against David Price, but there, I don't like anyone really in this range. Well, if you can afford a Robbie Grossman, which I can, I think Robbie Grossman is a good number against Wayne Miley. But I think this Red Sox and Diamondbacks game is not to like totally stack them. Where are you? And since this is why. Oh, shoot. I can't even find him. <laughs> I thought he's maybe he's 3600. Oh, Adam Jones, 3600. This is solely because he's been on a tear lately. Nothing else. Like, I might have to fit in Robbie Grossman into a lineup or two, but I think I'd just rather play Adam Jones. Not the greatest track record, uh, track record against Price, but then again, Price, you know, was dominant for a while. And now Price, he, I mean, he could dominate today, but in Arizona, it's just going to be like the Miller Park effect. Um, he might not be as dominant today. And then, just based off numbers, uh, Hernan Perez. He's cheap, too. He's not a big sleeper. He's 6 out of 11, which is 545 against Cole Hamill. So if he gets two hits, he'll be, if he gets a hit and a run, he'd be worth it. So five plus points. Maybe eight. I mean, Hernan Perez is known for... I think he had a good game last game. I wanted to play him yesterday at 19. So many people had good games. Like Descalso from the Cubs had an awesome game. He had 26. I wanted to fit him in, but couldn't. Just because I had too many people that I wanted to play at second base and shortstop. And those ended up pretty well for me. So, uh, yeah. I guess I'm going to stop here, guys. My video. So, either Walker Bueller or Aaron Brooks. And if you go with Bueller... I like Pollock over J.D. Martinez. Pollock's in Coors Field. Might have to do another lineup with that, just in case. But yeah, I think you have to start with Cody Bellinger, Mac Mon- Max Muncy, Hernan Perez, J.D. Martinez, Ryan Brown, and Adam Jones, basically because he's on the hot streak. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, let's go win some money today.